Boys, what's good? What's good, retainers? You know what I mean, guys? I wanted to come at you guys with a little message, all right? Uh, something that is going to hopefully help you guys because there's a lot of people who I see will leave comments and stuff like that, and uh, it's not just on my channel. It's on other people's channels. So many questions, you know. What happens if I relapse, right? What happens if I... If I end up relapsing, whether you load up the sites, you know, and bust one off, or, you know, you meet up with a girl, and, you know, you get it that way. You know, you allowed yourself to have a weak moment. You allowed, you know, the flesh to win the battle. You allowed your urges to take over. Um, you guys, it's, you know, at the end of the day, you should, you know, take it as, you know, you definitely had a weak moment, right? But, you, you know... We can't just sit there and beat ourselves up, you know. We can't we can't sit there and beat ourselves up. Uh, it's on us to get right back up and get back on the journey, you know. Um, someone once told me that semen retention is like filling up, pretty much like filling up a bucket of water, right? You fill up a bucket of water every single day that you retain, you know. You get more and more water getting into the bucket, all right. And if you decide to relapse or say you give into an urge or you meet up with a girl and you end up busting off it's not like you dump over the whole pail of water you know it's like you know a little bit of you know it gets it gets pushed over a little bit a little bit of the water comes out but definitely not all of it you know you don't lose all of your benefits you know all of the things that you learn and all of the stuff that you gain going on a long streak of retention and then you bust one nut um yeah, you know, there's going to be that shame, definitely. There's going to be shame involved, and, you know, my suggestion is, honestly, you guys, to lean into that, to lean into that shame, and, you know, how are you going to go forward? How are you going to make sure that doesn't happen in the future? You know, I remember earlier, earliest in my journey, I relapsed like four or five times, maybe more, you guys, uh, until I was able to get on a good streak, you know what I'm saying? And every single time, you know, I felt ashamed. I felt ashamed. But I was able to get right back on it. The whole point, you guys, is making making the semen retention stuff a lifestyle. You know, make it a lifestyle, you know. The whole idea is for us to not go back to that lifestyle that we were living before. You know, where we're, you know, a daily, you know, loading up those sites on a daily basis, busting one off, you know, maybe a couple times a day. You know, a lot of people are like that as well, you know, or... You know, just doing the casual sex thing and busting off. Guys, the whole, the only, the way that you're going to drain your power level and your confidence and all your benefits that we talk about is if you're going back and you get back into that daily habit to where you're constantly draining yourself. You know, if you bust off once, twice, uh, every now and then, and I'm not recommending this. I'm just saying if it happens, say you give into the urge and, you know, you have a weak moment and you relapse. It's not that big of a deal, you guys. This is why I don't support people that count the days. You know, it's like you count the days and it's, it turns into an ego thing. Well, I have, you know, 200 some days. I have 104 days. You know, I have 3,872 days. Like, bro, it doesn't matter. At, at the end of the day, it's all one day at a time. You know, we're all on the same journey one day at a time. If you go to sleep, you hit that pillow, bro, and you retained, that's a good day. You know, you had a good day, you had a successful day. In the semen retention world, God is very proud of you. You know, you're fighting the lust, fight, fighting your flesh. You know, that's a win. You know, the whole idea, you guys, if you relapse, don't beat yourself up. You know, there's so many guys that I see commenting that are like, oh, I'm, I feel so ashamed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, good. You should feel ashamed. You know, you definitely allowed the flesh to win. That's the battle that we're, that we're fighting. You know, it's fighting against that flesh, trying to operate in the spirit as much as possible, eliminate our lust, you know, elevate, become serious, serious men out here in the world, you know, on semen retention. So allow yourself to feel that shame, but just get right back up. You know, maybe that next day, you know, go in the gym, hit a, hit a super fire workout, hit a really intense workout, doing squats, deadlifts, you know, activate that testosterone, eat, eat some, eat a steak, eat some eggs, some spinach, you know, eat some protein, you know, um, get, get yourself feeling all right, you know, you know, jumpstart yourself on that, on that second day, 
you know, load up with some semen retention videos, you know, watch some videos on relapse, watch some videos on how to bounce back from a relapse like this. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself in that mode to where you can jump right back on it. I've noticed there's a lot of guys that feel that shame and then they're like, oh, you know, I've had people tell me they do the chaser effect and all that. That is, that is what you don't want. You know, when you bust off once, so then you're like, oh, I already released, I might as well just keep doing it, you know, since I already ruined my streak. That's not how it works, you guys, because if you release just one time, it's not going to do that much damage compared to if you release, you know, bust off like five times in a couple days or something like that and completely drain, you know, drain your energy. You know, there's a difference. Every time you release, you know, you lower your, you know, benefits and that power level and the confidence and all that stuff. Um, that's how it works, guys. You know, just one one nut is not going to kill you, you know. It's definitely a weak moment. You should analyze it and, and figure out how to how to uh, eliminate that in the future and, and get yourself right back on that streak. But, guys, we should be more lifestyle-oriented, you know. You have your mind be focused on making it a lifestyle. Don't count the days. Just have it be a lifestyle, you know. It's almost like a little hiccup. If you relapse, just get right back up, you know. Just get right back up. Get on your game. Like I said, bust out a workout and jump, jump start yourself, you know, that next day. And you're going to notice yourself feeling better just in a few days, you know, and get yourself back on another streak. And, you know, essentially learn how to handle those urges a little bit better. You know, figure out more techniques to how to handle the urges, if that's what it was. If that urge took you down or certain female or certain situation, you know, delete the dating apps, delete certain females unfollow certain people that are lustful on, on Instagram or wherever, you know, anyone that's giving you urges and stuff like that. We got to think ahead, you guys. We got to be more smart about this because it's not worth it to bust nuts like that. It's really not worth it, you know. The the stuff that we gain from, from retaining is so much more valuable than that quick uh, feeling of dopamine, you know, that we get from from busting a nut, you know, looking at porn, and we're just damaging ourselves, damaging our mind and our spirit when we do that. So that's my message on this one, you guys. If you relapse, don't beat yourself up. Just get right back up, all right? Get right back up. You know, it's a long journey. Make it a lifestyle. Don't make it about ego and counting the days and all this bullshit, you know? Just, it's a lifestyle, you guys. Make it a lifestyle change. Get in your mind that that's what you're doing, you know? And, you know, if you, if you, uh, if you fall, just get right back up. Just jump start yourself, you know what I mean, that next day and get right back up on another streak. All right, boys, hope you guys got something out of this. Comment uh, below if you want to, you know, chop it up about this topic. And I'll see you guys next time, man. I'm heading to bed. I got work in the morning, so I'll, I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow, man. Hope you guys had a great day, bro. God bless.